Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality, augmented reality and cloud computing. In this video, I will go in a step by step manner to explain the basics and will show you how to work with audio files, how to capture data from audio files, what are the file types supported by this Python package which we have installed uh, in the previous video and how to capture a portion of speech to convert it into text. I will also give details about necessary packages and methods etc. So stay connected till the end of this video and this series to acquire complete knowledge. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So let's get started. First we will try to work with existing audio files. So we will utilize a class called recognizer from speech recognition package. This class instance helps in you know in recognizing speech. And this class has uh, seven methods which can recognize speech from an audio source with the help of various APIs. So these methods are listed here on the screen. Number one is recognize Google Cloud which is a Google Cloud speech to text API and which actually gives the power to developers to convert speech to text by making use of powerful uh, neural network models in an easy to use API. Number two is uh, recognize Google, which is a Google web speech JavaScript API, which provides a capability to the developers to implement speech recognition and synthesis into the web pages. Number three is recognize IBM, which is also an API offering real time speech recognition. It also recognizes different speakers in the audio. Number four is a recognize Sphinx, which is a speech recognition API, which also requires, uh, you know, pocket Sphinx to be installed as well in order to get working. Number five is a recognize Bing, which is a speech recognition service offered by Microsoft and which provides capabilities to, you know, your applications to add a real time speech to text functionality. Number six is a recognize wit, which is a speech recognition API offered by wit.ai that takes voice commands to convert it into text and also tells the intent associated with the voice command. Number seven is a recognize houndify, which is an API that integrates voice and conversational uh, intelligence into your application. One can customize it as per his or her needs. From the methods listed here, only recognize Sphinx works offline and all other methods requires an internet connection. So you can go through the documentation to learn more about speech recognition APIs. As I mentioned in the previous video, speech recognition package comes with default API key for a Google web speech API. Please ensure that you are not using this default API key in the production because for production purpose, you may need to buy a license. And default API key can be, you know, utilized for limited use only. The other six packages mentioned in the previous video requires either authentication through API key or access key or through username and password. So as you can see in the first cell here, I'm first creating an object of recognizer class. And then in the next cell, I'm trying to call recognize Google method here. Okay. So this Google uh, recognize Google method is associated with this recognizer class. Now when I ran the cell, I got this error, right? Which says recognize Google missing one required positional argument audio data. So the error clearly says that it requires an audio data argument here. We can provide this argument by making use of audio file class of speech recognition package. So if you see in the cell below, here I'm creating an object of audio file class by passing the qualified path of audio file where this file has been kept. Okay. So this is my file name and this is an audio file. Okay. And I named this uh, audio file object as speech here. So in the next line, 
we are using with keyword here to read the content of speech and storing data in the audio file instance called file source in the next line i am using record method here to record the data from the entire file now i am passing this audio as an argument to recognize google method to recognize a speech in the audio so you can see here right and when i ran this cell this time you can see that we got no error and rather got the transcribed text here right from the speech or from the audio so this is the same function we utilize above here right but this time we passed the audio data file as an argument here so if you listen to the speech dot web file you will hear the same text which is shown here please note that speech recognition package supports file formats like dot wav dot aiff dot flac dot aiff hyphen c moving on let's say you want to capture only a portion of speech in a given audio file you can also do that by uh, you know making use of an argument called duration which we can pass inside record method so duration argument actually stops the recording after a specific number of seconds for example if you have mentioned the duration as 5 then it will stop recording after 5 seconds so in the next cell i passed uh, this duration argument uh, the duration equals to 5 Uh, in the record method here, and when I ran the cell, you can see that it stopped the recording after five seconds and captured speech of first five seconds here. So this is the way you can uh, you know capture the portion of speech and convert it into text. Now let's say you want to capture multiple portion of speech uh, such that a uh, first five second captures one portion of speech and next five second captures another. a next portion portion of speech we can do that by creating multiple instances of record method and passing duration for which we want to capture the speech just like i passed you know audio 1 and audio 2 instances here please note that record method when used inside a uh, with block always move ahead in the file stream so if we record once for 5 second and then record again for 5 seconds the second time returns the 5 seconds of the audio after the first 5 seconds so when i ran the cell okay so you can see that the audio one captured the first 5 seconds which is the birch cano slid on the smooth planks okay here and the next 5 seconds were captured in the audio 2 here so these were the first 5 seconds and these were the next 5 second related text now one problem with this kind of approach is that when you specify the duration the recording might stop mid phrase or even mid word which can impact the accuracy of the transcription so to get rid of such problem we can make use of another argument called offset which can be passed inside the record method okay which i have passed here okay so i have passed a offset argument which is an additional argument in the record method here and offset argument specifies the starting point and represents the number of seconds from the beginning of the file to ignore before starting to record so in order to capture only uh, you know second portion of the speech in the file you could uh, start with an offset of 5 second and record it for 7 seconds as shown in the cell here but this method of audio segmentation using duration and offset argument is only helpful for you if you know the structure of speech in the file so when i ran the cell you, i got this output here okay so it has started with an offset 5 and recorded it for 7 seconds so folks this is it for this video in the next video i will be covering the effect of noise on speech recognition and how can we get rid of such noise i'm also going to show you how to work with microphones to record your own speech and then converting it into text so stay tuned so here is the today's question what is the usage of offset argument in the record method please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback 
You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.